after I mocked everything up just to check fitment make sure everything was fitting correctly I noticed the bottom of the intake port was uh, sticking out into the airflow um, I had used my head gaskets I'm going to use when I put it together and the same ones that I'm going to use when I order my custom piston so they have to stay the same that compressed thickness and I put an intake manifold gasket in there also but on both left and right cylinder heads on each port at the bottom was a uh, 3 30 seconds of an inch of red material sticking out into the airflow that's almost eighth of an inch the the sides were pretty good the top those were all perfectly matched it's just it's just that bottom part in each one strange but it is what it is I could do it by hand and grind it out but it's much funner just to stick it on the mill and make everything nice and uniform so I'm making some type of fixture I'll take this out and maybe go in a half an inch but there's just enough to blend it but there's plenty of material right there and I'm sweating it the only thing I could figure is that when I bought these heads it was early 2000s I think it was 2003 or maybe 2004 and then the project got put away I got married had kids and 17 years later I get it started again and I buy an intake manifold for it and it could have been two different companies are manufacturing the cylinder head now or two different companies are manufacturing the intake manifold but regardless now that's not really a big deal I even removed the head gasket thinking you know that might make a difference in the thickness of the head gasket but honestly with no head gasket in there I still have the same material left so it didn't really make any difference so I'll put that on the mill and I'll make short work of that Stukas was still to play an important role on the Eastern Front and in the Mediterranean. 